Hi friends, Anne McKinnell here. Thanks for joining me. So today I'm going to show you how to load and use Photoshop brushes. So let's get started. So I have this um, digital art image of a leopard here that I've been working on and uh, it has a background and a few other different things added into it and I've decided that I'd like to add some brushes to it as well. So I'm going to load up my new uh, Different Strokes Photoshop brushes. So I'm going to go over here to my finder and I'll just show you what you get with this brush set. So you download the zip file and after you unzip it you'll have a folder called Anne's Different Strokes and this is all the stuff that you'll see inside of that folder. So the first image here, this ABR, the first file I mean, is the Photoshop brush file. Now each of the brushes I've also made available in ping format. So you can just go ahead and use these ping files um, and, and use them as you would a JPEG file and just drag them onto your image and use them that way. But I much prefer to use them as Photoshop brushes because they're so much more versatile. You can do a lot of things with it. Um, but if you're not using Photoshop or for whatever reason you don't want to use the Photoshop ABR file, you can do them this way. And I'll just quickly show you how you can do that. I'm just going to take this first one and I'll drag that over onto my Photoshop image. And there it is. So you I mean you can do it this way. And you can just play with it from here if you want to, you know, reduce the size or whatever you're going to do. Okay, so I'll just delete that. But I'll show you how I prefer to use the Photoshop brushes. So what I'm going to do is go over to my preset manager to load the brushes. So you can see my brushes here. Now, if you don't see this in your version of Photoshop, what you can do is go to Window and then Brushes, and that will open that up for you. And then you'll see this little tiny uh, hot dog icon here, or is this called a hamburger? I can never remember. So you click this and you can go into Preset Manager. Okay, and now I'm going to click Load, and I can navigate over to where that ABR file is, and I'll click on that and just go Open. Okay, and so here they are. Now they're all loaded into Photoshop. Okay, and I'll just click Done. So now what all I want to do is just start uh, using one of these brushes. So I've picked my brush tool here and I'm going to just go in here and pick one of these brushes. So let's go down and let's see, I think I will pick uh, this one, different stroke seven. And I can just go ahead and stamp that on. Oh, that didn't quite work. I need a new layer. And now I'm going to stamp that on. There we go. Now, these brushes are, I've called them Photoshop stamp brushes because you don't want to click and drag. They're not meant to be used like a paintbrush that way. You just click, okay? So the reason I prefer to use these as Photoshop brushes instead of just the ping file is because it's so easy to just go in here and you can change colors. You know, I can maybe use this eyedropper tool and pick a color right out of my image. So I'm going to pick this brown color, click OK, and I can use my bracket keys to make the brush bigger or smaller. And it's just so easy now to go and have so many different options available to me. Okay, so I just stamped that on there. Now, there's so many more things you can do than just stamping it on here in a color and size. So I'll show you a couple of different things that you can do. Um, obviously, you can move this around. Now that it's stamped here, I can use my move tool and move this if I just want to show a little bit of it or you know, if I want to maybe rotate it around, I can do that. If I just want a bit peeking in from the side or something. I'm just going to put this back the way it was. Um, another thing that you can do is change the blend mode. I almost always change the blend mode. So here's normal. 
but you can also go multiply, you can pick overlay or soft light and get a totally different look. So I can go, let me see, let me pick overlay here. That's one of my favorite ones. And then you can also change the opacity. So maybe it's not quite as obvious. You get a bit more of a subtle look when you do that. Okay. So I'll go back to normal, show you some other things here. Now, you don't have to be limited to just one color. So here's another thing I like to do with Photoshop brushes. I'm going to add a new layer and I'm going to clip this layer to the one below it. And I'll do that by holding down the Option key and clicking the line in between these two layers in my layer panel over here. So I'll do that. And you see how this moved over here and it has a little arrow? So that means that this layer is clipped to the one below it. Now, whatever I do will only happen where my paintbrush tool is. Okay, so let me show you. That's probably the easiest way. I'm going to go back to my brush by clicking B, and I am just going to pick a regular brush. Okay, just this is just a round brush. And I'll make it a bit smaller. And I'm going to change the color here to, you know, maybe some kind of nice blue color like that. And now I can just go willy-nilly over here and the color is only going to be where I previously painted because this is clipped to the other layer. Okay, so I painted a little bit of blue on there and I can go and, you know, maybe change the color to something else. And I can paint a bit of that color on there. You know, I can change the opacity of my brush and paint a little bit more on. There's so many different options available. One thing I like to do is use a watercolor brush. So I just deleted that layer and I'm going to start over. I'm going to click Option, New Layer. Actually, that isn't what I wanted to do. I just want to click New Layer. And then I'm going to Option, click between them to clip this one to the one below it. And now I'm going to pick uh, one of my watercolor brushes. Okay, these ones haven't been released yet, but I'll probably do that soon. I'll pick a watercolor brush here. And let's see, I have a library of some of my favorite colors, so I'll pick that color. And I'm just going to go and, you know, click around in here a little bit. And then maybe I will pick a different color. And again, I can click around in here a little bit with that color. Oh, I didn't manage to actually change colors there. What happened? Library. There we go. Change the color. And now I can click around here with that color. And you get a completely different look. All right. Let me show you one other thing you can do here. And that is, I'll delete that layer. And that is using a texture on top of your brush. Okay, so I'm going to go over here to Lightroom and I will pick, let me see, I'm going to pick one of these textures from my Jerome texture collection. Okay, I'll pick this one and I'm going to drag that one over to Photoshop. Okay, there it is. Now I'm just going to uh, make this a little bit bigger so that it covers up that brush stroke. Okay, and I'll click OK. Now I could use this as a texture, you know, by itself if I just wanted to, you know, go overlay or soft light or something like that. If it were going to move that behind my leopard. Okay, so that's how, you know, you might use it as a texture. You could reduce the opacity, do something like that. But what I want to do here is use this on top of that brush. So I'm going to do the same thing as I did before. I'm going to clip this texture to the brush stroke. So I'll hold down the Option key, click in between those two layers. And now the texture is only on the brush stroke. How cool is that? That looks so cool. I love that. And again, you know, you can, if you want to take the color out of this layer, you can do that. So many options. You can change this from soft light to overlay. Look how cool that looks. Multiply. Really like how overlay looks. And you can change the opacity of this if you want more or less of that texture on your brush stroke. 
and I can also change the opacity of the brush stroke itself, change the whole thing. So the options are pretty much endless here. I'm going to click my move tool and maybe move this brush stroke over to the side a little bit so it's just peeking in like that. I think it is a little bit too harsh there. I'll make it a little bit more subtle. So there you go. How cool is that? There are all kinds of brushes. There are 10 here in this uh, different strokes brush set. And, oh, I gotta show you one more thing. I just have to show you I have my music brushes here. So let me just choose one of my music brushes. Okay, and I will go to my brush and my default brush color, which is black. And I can do the exact same thing. I'm gonna make a new layer. It's clipped to that brush stroke. And now I can go ahead and click in here and you can see some of these little musical patterns appearing in here inside the brush stroke. That's really cool. I really like how that looks too. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.